Hey everyone, I'm Michael, and as you can probably tell, if you watched the previous video from a few days ago, I'm sounding a lot better now, because I figured out the socially distant issue. Um, if you remember in the previous video, um, I was showing you guys Unreal Engine and how, um, I couldn't get it to work under Linux, um, and I couldn't get it to work under Windows either. Um, now, in that video, I did end up getting it to run under Linux, but the text rendering was so bad that I couldn't read it, and it would not compile the game. Um, so that was really a bust. But under Windows, I had this stupid error um, that I could not figure out. And I'm going to show you guys the error. So, I've already fixed it in this VM, but we're gonna clone... Uh, we're gonna delete the game's source code from this VM and and show you guys what really went on um so the source code is in projects and then if we do an ls there's three stitch and soak this three stitch we're gonna delete soak this three stitch right okay so what we need to do it, or what i did was i owned the repository Oh, wait, no, it's like this three stitch. Uh, with one S, not two. Um, oops, okay. Stoke this three stitch. We hit code on that. And it's gonna be relatively quick. And it has clunk. So, then what we do is we hop into that directory. And we run the U project file. And that's going to open in Unreal. And what was happening was it would take a little bit and then it would pop up this dialog box complaining that the socially distant module is missing or compiled for a different editor version. Would you like to recompile it? And obviously, yes, I would. This is a brand new copy of the repo. I don't expect there to be binaries in it. So we hit yes on that. And it complains. It says that it could not compile the module. Try recompiling it yourself. So, what you then need to do, um, is turn down the music on my phone, first of all. Um, what I then needed to do was hop into the directory in Explorer, and right-click on the uProject file, and generate Visual Studio project files. Um, which dutifully goes ahead and generates project files. Now, normally you kind of do this in the Unreal Editor when you create a C++ class, or by hitting the button in the editor, but, you know, I can't get into the editor right now because of that dialog box that came up. But there's a socially distant .sln file, we can open it. Now, obviously I use a writer, I don't use Visual Studio, I think Visual Studio is a horrible IDP, I think the UI looks like a freaking nightmare. Um, not in terms of, of usability, but just, it looks fugly. Um, so I use Rider, and Rider has Unreal support. So I'm going to hop into Rider, and it's going to take a bit to load. But once it does, we get your engine and your game project. Uh, you know, normal Unreal stuff. And then, um, we have... You know, in the top corner, you have your run menu and all that stuff. So it lets you select the uh, platform that you want to build for and in and, and whatever you want, development or debug game or whatnot. And um, it's loading right now, but once it loads, it's going to let me build. So I'm waiting on it to build, obviously. We're waiting on it to let me build. Um, come on. Add configuration. I don't... Okay. 
So let me just link it. And then there's run and debug. Um, so if I hit debug, it's gonna complete um, with with this error here. The command blah 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 dot bat has executed or exited with uh, code either six or something else. But either way, it's an error. What I neglected to look at, and, and you, you really can't blame me. I am blind, so I can't read this anyway. But someone else read it for me, and what I neglected to read was this um, right panel over here. And it tells you exactly what's going on. It tells me that there is a missing third-party mod shell that the game needs, called Runtime Archiver. I forgot about this mod shell. Um, what Runtime Archiver is, is it's a third-party library for Unreal Engine that some guy on GitHub wrote that I added as a sub mod shell to socially distant. And what it does is it lets you interact with zip files and stuff like that at runtime, which in Unreal you can technically interact with zip files, but you cannot ship that code in your game because it's an editor-only library. So I needed something I could use at runtime because Socially Distant uses zip files for um, user interface schemes. So I need access to that. Um, but, when I added this library, I was just kind of looking for a library that could do it. I wasn't planning on actually implementing skinning just yet. So I dutifully forgot that I added that library to the game. The fix for this error... The fix for this error... I'll show you how easy it is. All you have to do, run git, sub module, update, dash dash, init. And it will clone the runtime archiver repository that the game needs to function. And then we can hit F5. And have it try again. If I can keep my VM in the capture window. Okay. So debug on that. And pretty soon it will go ahead and start compiling the game. Or not. I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, uh, there it goes. No, that's just the terminal. Um... Ryder did some changes to the UI. They completely overhauled all the checkbrains IDEs, but you can still revert to the old UI. But they changed it too. Uh, I don't. I don't like it. Um. I don't know why it's not letting me see the build, but eventually it will build. Um. So I guess we'll just wait on it. Come on. What does I can click build? <clears throat> okay, so build. Um, are you still doing your thing? You are still compiling. Okay. Okay, so it just finished. Alright, so now Unreal is starting. And... We're in the editor. And I can hit Alt-P. And we're in game. Just like that. I even picked up my existing save file. This is... Oh my god. Like... Uh, oops. 
Um, if I hit Control T, uh, if I hit the right key combo to open the terminal, it would be nice. Oh, you know why? I uh, I uh, I uh, stop capturing my VM. Um, there we go. So yeah, um, I can run NeoFetch. I can do all the fun stuff, and it works. So yeah, the game is back. Um, I am I'm incredibly happy. I'm glad I figured that out. I needed a second pair of eyes from the Unreal Swackers Discord to help me out there, but. We're back. I don't have to write a game engine. I don't have to rewrite the game in another engine. I can continue development of socially distant for Unreal Engine. With that said, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, I revamped my website. It's back. <laughs>